this week, the two games that I would tread carefully on are Seattle and Miami. We all have seen yeah. how bad Carolina is, how they have no wide receiver play, how their offensive line is bad. Uh, Bryce Young has struggled like you would expect a rookie quarterback to struggle. But now you're going on the road. Seattle's already lost to the Rams up there. They're, 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 that defense still has issue. Gave up a bunch of yards and points to the Lions last week. So I'd be careful with Seattle, and I'd be careful with Miami as well. Miami coming home after winning a divisional road game to, to start the year, winning in L.A. To, to start the year. Now you go home against an 0-2 Denver team that does not look to be any improved from last year. But wouldn't it be just like a Russell Wilson and Sean Payton to go on the road there and, and, and you find yourself in a 23-20 in a game in the fourth quarter and you're holding off with your life? It's very NFL for the Broncos to win this game in Miami, isn't it? Like, this is a, the classic NFL week three, kind of a desperate team on the road. Even Carolina, I've been 0-2 a couple of years, man. That game three, like, you you know the stats as a player. You know if you go 0-3, you're not making the playoffs. Um, and there's a desperation level. And the Broncos, as, you know, Russell Wilson redemption in week three against a, a feel-good Dolphins team, I, it feels very... NFL-ish for that to be a loss for for the Dolphins. Yes, I'd, I'd be careful with those two right around the touchdown favorites if you're looking to be a little different in terms of avoiding those popular p- picks this week. I think the Lions are kind of like the risk reward pick. Like I don't get it with Atlanta. I don't think Des- I don't think Desmond Ritter is the long-term answer. Uh, obviously, the Lions have some injuries of their own to be concerned about. But coming off of the loss last week at home uh, to Seattle, like. I think obviously there's some risk here because, because people, this number has come down quite a bit. So there are people out there that are betting Atlanta. So I don't see it. I, I think if you if you have if you have multiple entries and you're looking to avoid popular picks, I think the Lions might be might be a team that might be worthwhile taking a chance with. I keep wishing against the Falcons. And I keep winning. <laughs> so like, I don't know. I don't know what, what do you do. know? I don't know. What do. The Falcons just keep just keep doing it. The one the one team for me that I think is kind of interesting is the Packers. They're hosting the Saints here. Um, we talked a little bit in the game group chat about the Saints, right? Like, is this a spot to take the Packers on a kind of a 50-50 game, sort of get them, get them in there, get a win? No one's probably taking the Packers this weekend as well. Right. Is it a good spot to take Green Bay here? I I, I love anything that is kind of against the popular pick of the week. It's, you don't want to be on board when a third of the pool gets wiped out. That being said, it's hard not to use can You can use the Chiefs any week, but after having a couple of entries bounced early on, I feel like I'm in a spot where I want like a no sweat kind of yes. week, and the Chiefs are zero percent chance of losing at home. Correct. So I ultimately landed on Kansas City. Okay. Not creative, but. I think Jess got a good point with Green Bay. I think the Lions are someone to consider as well. If you obviously don't want to use Dallas, Jacksonville, yeah, I mean, Baltimore, Kansas City. If you're in a smaller pool like I am, that not not the circle pool, not paying thousands of dollars, you know, throw the Packers in there. But I get your point. If you're if you're kind of down to a couple entries left and you've spent a lot of money on it, Kansas City is is not a sweat. And hopefully we don't sweat out your three bets so far you've given on our show. Bear Bets full episodes drop twice a week right here on the Bear Bets YouTube channel. Remember to subscribe to stay ahead of the odds and let's celebrate all of our wins together.